Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this cake topper number shaker on Cricut Design Space with a paper flower and some butterflies. I'm going to be using one of the fonts that is already in Cricut Design Space. This is a bold font. I'm going to be doing the number 10 and making it bigger. We are going to be using the new offset feature in Design Space. I'm going to do the offset 0.097. I'm going to be doing a duplicate, but it's not really necessary because I, end I ended up deleting it anyways. And then you want to select all of it and you want to do a slice. Delete the gray number 10. I'm going to be keeping the border and the black number 10. I'm going to be doing another offset on the black layer. Again, it's going to be 0 0.089. And this is going to be for your acetate and for the background of the shaker part. Once you have your offset, delete the black number 10. I'm going to be changing the color to a light pink. I'm going to be doing a duplicate and then I'm going to be changing it to gray. This is going to be your acetate. Now we're going to be doing another offset and this is going to be for the gold border around the number 10. I did 0 0.097. I'm going to yellow as for gold. Now you want to select all of it and do it another offset. You want to do it until it touches together and until there is no circle in the middle of the number zero and this is going to be the whole border for the k topper shaker i changed it to a dark pink Now we're going to be adding the butterfly. This is the code for the butterfly. I did purchase this on Cricut Design Access, so it's not it's not free. I think it was not $1.99. And then I'm going to look up 3D flowers and I'm going to be using the second one. This is for a rose, a rose flower. The cut size for my rose flower is going to be 8 inches, but at the end when I assembled the rose flower, it was too big, so I ended up not using the rose flower, so I suggest making it 6 inches instead of 8 inches like I did. I uploaded this flower. I bought it the SVG online. I'll link it down below. And the size of this flower is going to be 3 inches. So I'm going to keep resizing it until the bigger petal is at 3 inches. And you want to have 5 big, 2 mediums, and 2 small. So I'm going to duplicate it 4 more times and until I have 5 big, 2 medium, and 2 smalls. The size for my cake topper is going to be 9 by 7 inch. You just have to do the width 9 and then it will size it automatically. I'm going to be arranging the butterflies and the flower to see how it's going to look. I'm going to be doing two butterflies so I did another duplicate. 
and then we'll be doing two roses so I did a duplicate of that so the roses are gonna go on each side of the big flower in the middle now I'm gonna be looking up some leaves you just type in leaves and Cricut sign access but these are the leaves that I'm going to be using for my cake topper I am arranging the leaves to my liking I did a duplicate and I did a horizontal flip and I'm doing the same for the other leaf. We are all set and ready to start cutting. My machine is a Cricut Maker. I'm gonna be using the fine point blade and the setting is light cardstock. This is how the butterflies turned out. They turned out super beautiful. Look at the detail and I love using the gold foil. I got my gold foil at Michael's and a pack of 25. I sometimes have trouble with my machine like right now where the blade like drags the paper and it doesn't really cut like super smooth. I ended up using the cardstock intricate cut for the setting. This is the acetate I'm going to be using. I got this on Amazon. I'll be linking it down below. The setting I use for the materials is acetate and it cuts it twice. Now it's time to assemble. So this is the glue I'm going to be using. You just need a small amount of glue because the glue can get over the acetate and it can make the acetate dirty but that's okay we're going to be cleaning the acetate later on so i'm just putting the border onto the acetate this is the number zero i'm doing the number one I got some glue on the acetate, so I'm gonna be cleaning it up. I first cleaned it up with some alcohol wipes, but it left the acetate super like blurry and foggy. So now I'm gonna be using this old t-shirt, it's clean, that I just cut up, and some glasses cleaner that I had on hand. So I'm just gonna be spraying it onto the t-shirt and I'm just gonna be cleaning the acetate with it. The acetate came out so clean and clear. I'm gonna be doing the same to the number one. So I recommend using a glasses cleaner to clean your acetate and an old t-shirt. Now we're going to be putting some foam tape around the border of your member. And this foam tape is thick so I'm going to be putting it on some sticker backing and I'm going to be cutting it in half so it can be thinner. I'm going to be doing two layers of foam tape. So after I did two layers, I'm going to be adding in some beads, some sequins, some glitter. You can add whatever you want. I got most of my stuff at Dollar Tree, like the beads and the glitter. I got it at Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. 
now you want to stick your backing onto your number you can also do double acetate where it's like clear on both sides this is how the number zero turned out it came out super pretty i did the number one off camera now i'm going to be gluing the gold foil onto each number Now get your last layer and you want to use foam tape to glue it onto the offset. I usually do double foam tape because this foam tape that I got the Doxy is too thin. The cake popper is turning out so pretty. Now we need to add the flower and the butterflies. So you're gonna separate your five big, your two mediums, and your two small. Now it's time to fold the petals. I'm gonna be doing two at a time because it is a lot of petals. I'm gonna be using a bamboo skewer and you want to fold each side of the petals inwards and I'm going to be doing this to all of the petals. For each petal, you also want to put it in the middle of your hand and push it down in the middle with your thumb. Now I'm going to be using hot glue to assemble the flower. This is the hot glue I'm using. It's low temperature, but most paper flower crafters recommend a high temperature hot glue but this is the one that I have at hand so this is the one I'm going to be using just add a drop of hot glue in the middle and you want to put your petal not right on top of each petal but like in the middle where it's like not overlapping so it can look more fuller I am fixing each petal and just banding it and using the bamboo skewer to make it more fuller and nicer. I'm done with the big petals, now on to the medium petals. So I'm not a pro at making paper flowers, but my first ever Cricut project was a shadow box of paper roses for Mother's Day that I gifted to my mothers. And that was like a year ago, so I haven't done paper flowers in such a long time. For the last two petals, the small ones, I'm going to be folding them differently so pay attention. At first I folded each like petal to the side and now you want to start from the left side and fold it 
all the way inward towards the middle you just want to do this just for the left side do not do it on both sides of each petal same thing for the last petal I'm just gonna hold it it all up and just add a dot of hot glue and just put it in the middle how the flower turned out it turned out so beautiful now we're going to be doing the rose i'm going to be using a quilling tool i got this at hobby lobby for 5.99 so this quilling tool has a slit in the middle and you want to put your paper through it and you want to start rolling the paper flower while turning the quilling tool and it's pretty simple you just want to roll inwards get towards the end you want to remove the quilling tool and start rolling by hand to make the flower fuller you can set it onto the table and start twisting the middle and open it up more Now add some glue at the bottom of your flower. To make the flower more realistic, you want to use a bamboo skewer or a wooden dowel. I got this one at the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to be folding the petals outwards now it's time to put everything together so I wanted the roses to be on each side of the big flower but I made the roses too big that's why I said for the cut to be six inches instead of eight inches if you want to do the same design so I ended up not using the roses these are the leaves. I'm just seeing which one looks better. I'm going to be using these leaves and I'm going to be gluing them onto the back of the flower. This is the finished product, the cake topper 
turned out so beautiful. I should have added more glitter, but I love the butterflies. I love the flowers. I love everything. I think maybe next time add a strip of cardstock so the foam tape won't show on the sides. I also forgot to mention when we put on the foam tape on the back of the numbers, don't forget to leave some space for the for the sticks for your K topper. I also should have cut out two pieces of the back layer and glued them together so it can be more sturdy because it was a little bit flimsy on the back. Or you can also use a uh, hundred pound cardstock instead so it can be more sturdy so I'm just gluing my sticks with some hot glue Thank you guys so much for watching my video don't forget to subscribe and comment down below what i should do next i'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>